Ahoy mateys, last weekend something very big happened on this boat. I finally got the guts to take it out on my own. I've been terrified for so long because it's just so big, so powerful. It's basically two meat grinders attached to a 26,000 pound bathtub. This thing's a scary machine in the wrong hands, and I wasn't sure if my hands were the right ones. But the weather was perfect, so I just strapped on a GoPro and I went out there. No regrets, here's what happened. up it's gonna stop sputtering got good oil battery's a little bit low on port we'll have to wait and see if that bumps up temperature is low on both because we haven't even started yet all right and let's pull this front windshield cover off I'm only gonna be in the flybridge for this but just tradition get this thing ready to go That was a little bit risky. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it's up there. Check on these temperatures. Still not quite there. It's gonna waste a little bit of fuel, but I'm gonna take them up to 2200 just so they're warm. Exactly. The steam went away as soon as I got it up to operating level. Okay. <sighs> Only two lines on. I am so terrified. Down to idle take this loop off and this one and we're free oh my gosh holy all right oh we're going we are going very slow very steady Oh. oh, this is terrifying. Made it out. No problems. Okay. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Oh, I'm doing this. I'm actually doing this. I have been terrified to think of this moment for months. It's a big machine to handle by yourself but it's docile. <laughs> it can be at least. Oh, that's good. My ropes are off of the water, so they're not gonna get sucked into the props. I have those on bungee cords so that they can be easy to reach when I back, back in. All right, this is real. This is real. I'm actually doing this. This is, this is real. Come on, Brian, you in there? Brian! <laughs> That is Brian's Roamer. He has been taking care of that boat since he was a kid, and it is gorgeous. Wish I could wave at him right now, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, right there, that is Mad Hatteras. That is Chris's new boat. He sold his Chris Craft Commander, and he got that instead. It's bigger, it's got bigger engines, still diesels, and what he really liked was the flybridge on top. I cannot blame him, because mine's a little bit dirty, but fly bridges are the best. It's okay. It's in my brain. I know exactly how to do all of this. But being actually here is very, very, very different. Luckily, it is, it's Halloween right now uh, and nobody is on the water. When I first got my boat, I thought it'd be a whole lot of fun to have a haunted Halloween cruise, but then uh, a lot of unforeseen circumstances happened and I'm here on my own. But that's fine, because this is a lot of fun too. 
I'm not gonna go underneath the bridge because that's just a little bit more stress than I need right now. I'm just gonna stay in this wide open area really slow because the real challenge, the real exciting part is going to be docking it again. Oh, I'm, <laughs> my stomach is not enjoying the stress from this. Oh boy. So it does get kind of shallow up here. It gets into the five or six foot zone. As long as I stay in what's the deepest, I should be fine because this boat has a three foot draft. Weird. Depth finder is not working. I'll have to just pay attention to Navionics. Thank you, John McAlpin. Check out that video where I talked with him about everything awesome that Navionics has to offer. It's really, really cool. Right now it's tracking my distance, my time, my speed, everything else. And that's pretty cool. Oh boy, this is actually happening. I, oh boy. I'm going to turn on the nav lights because it is getting slightly dark. I'm gonna be back before sunset, but better safe than sorry. Couldn't hurt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's fun. Boating is fun. But good gosh, is it stressful, especially when you're on a 40 foot, 26,000 pound boat by yourself. There's a lot that could go wrong, and it's scary to think about that. But if you think about what could go wrong, you'll never think about what could go right, which is a really fun Halloween cruise enjoying the river. Let's see where we're at here. We're at eight foot of water here. It gets a little bit shallower. I'm gonna go ahead and turn a little bit so I can aim for that area. I was still super nervous and I just wanted to talk to somebody, so I called my grandparents. You're not gonna believe what I'm doing right now. What are you doing? I'm on the boat by myself. Oh, no. Yes? What do you mean, oh no? <laughs> you, you don't trust me? <laughs> I do, that's the thing, is I trust myself more than anybody else, but I'm still scared. But you gotta overcome those fears or else you're always gonna be paralyzed by them. <laughs> Thank you. You'll never forget this one, right? That's true. This is gonna be one heck of a fun time. Uh, okay, well thank you so much. Love y'all. Bye. Hey buddy! Happy Halloween! I am on top of the world. I'm taking my boat out by myself right now. I'm on the water. Hell yeah. I know, right? I'm scared shitless right now. But it's all going just perfectly. Well, it's Halloween, so it's time to be scared. <laughs> I know, right? I literally thought that to myself. I'm like, if I'm ever gonna be scared of something, now's the time to do it. Well, no, I see you next week. Awesome. Wish me luck docking this thing, because that's the scary part. That's coming up in hey, about 15 minutes. Man. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. That was fun to be able to talk to some folks. Gosh, it's just so beautiful. Yes, it's safe. We're going less than five miles per hour. I can take a couple of photos. Engines are absolutely perfect. No surprise there. So now comes the fun part. We've made that little triangle loop. I'm going back to the dock and I'm gonna back this thing in and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm confident, but that doesn't mean I'm not nervous. I know I can do it, but still, the little things that could go wrong are what I keep thinking about. And of course, I shouldn't think about those at all because the more I think about them, the more they're likely to become true. So, I'm just gonna focus on what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go in there very slow, very steady, just like before, I'm going to stop, turn to my bow toward the left, go forward until I'm right in front of my slip, then I'm gonna turn, then I'm gonna back in. I'm going to hold it completely steady. I'm going to make sure 100% that the throttles are in neutral, 
and I'm going to climb to the back and start grabbing lines. So I just need to stay calm, stay in control, stay focused, and be ready for whatever happens. For real, this has been absolutely terrifying. I know that I'm talking calmly because in my life I've learned that panic does not help anything. You need to be 100% in control at all times of not only the situation, but your emotions. And that can really, really help. A lot could go bad in a very short amount of time, and so it's best to have your brain clear from whatever you can. From here on, the steering wheel does not get touched. It's all entirely the shifters. When you have two engines, you can push and pull with each one. It's almost like tank controls in a way. You'd be shocked the amount of control that this kind of setup can give you. That's what's been so frustrating, is I know how this works. I know exactly what I'm doing in theory, but to actually do the thing is very different. Okay. Bring it back down to idle, still in forward. I need to Bring it into reverse a little bit, just to kill some speed. I'm gonna to come to a dead stop right here so that I know exactly what I'm doing. Of course, if I wanted to, I, I could Tokyo drift this thing into place. But I'd prefer not to if I don't have to. No hurry, got no place to be. Turning, turning. It's never been anything easier. Here we go. Forward. Staying down the middle. Still pumping the throttles as needed. Just pulling myself forward. Slow and steady. That was beautiful. This dock is a whole lot calmer than the old one. River City Brewing Company. It's shockingly calm. I actually lost my starboard engine there at some point and I didn't even notice. That's a little bit concerning, but it's really not a big deal because I was able to just start it right back up. I'll worry about that later. All right, it's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna be fine. Now I'm gonna pause right here because what you're about to see may be the best docking I could have ever hoped for. Yeah, let's roll it. Oh my gosh. In neutral. Can I grab this one? Is it too far? We got four attachment points. Engine's off. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> That was so fun! Man! And nothing went wrong. Absolutely nothing. I didn't even bump on the way back in. I overcame my biggest fear today. Fear of this boat that I've spent two years of my life working on. But I've been scared of it ever since time I was just what if what if what if just have fun just enjoy it ah, thank you so much for sticking with me I guess I'm gonna get this thing 
back in one piece, make sure everything's secure, get the electricity back on. That's incredible. That was a weight lifted off my shoulders. To know that I can actually control this machine, it just means so much. You need one of two things if you're gonna do something like that. You either need the actual skill to do it, or to be naive enough not to know that you need the skill. Either one will work, but I had run all out of naivety, and I didn't know if I had the skill. But now I know that I do, and I can take this boat out whenever I want. So I'm taking it out tomorrow, and I want you to come with me. I'm gonna live stream this thing. It's gonna be a couple of hours long sometime tomorrow afternoon, and I don't know exactly when. So be sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit that little bell so you'll get a notification as soon as I go live. I wanna see you there. We're gonna have some great conversations on the water. It's gonna be great. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow.